grips are used in AutoCAD to easily manipulate or modify the objects you select in a few clicks. The location and the type of grip varies from object to object. For example, if I click on this rectangle, you will see blue objects at the corners as well as at the midpoint of these lines. And these objects are called grips. You can activate these grips by right clicking the mouse and click on options and click on selections tab. Here we have a section in which you can control the various parameters such as the grip color, grip size, you can enable or disable grips, etc. Now I'll click on the rectangle. You can see square grips at the corners and a rectangular grips at the midpoints because it's a rectangle. But if I click on this line, you can see square grips at the endpoints as well as at the midpoint. And if I click on the circle, I'll see grips at the center as well as at the quadrants. Now let's manipulate this rectangle using grips. I'll click on the rectangle. Now I'll hover the cursor onto the middle grip and you will get a menu with three options, stretch, add vertex and convert to arc. Now I'll just click to activate this grip. When a grip is active, its color changes to red because that is what is set at the options dialog box. Now I'll keep the cursor in the rightward direction and I'll type a distance of 100 units. Hence I have stretched this rectangle using grips. I'll undo this. Now I'll click again. I'll hover the cursor onto that middle grip. Here I have an option to convert this into an arc. So just click on that and you can change this linear segment to a curveless segment. Using grips, we can subdivide a segment. When I click on the shape, you can see that this segment has got two end grips and a mid grip and same is the case with this segment. Now I'll take the cursor onto this mid grip and here I have add vertex option. I'll just click on that and I'll insert a vertex right at this midpoint. Now you can see that this segment is subdivided into two segments with end grips and mid grip. Now I'll hover the cursor over here, then I'll click on convert to arc option and I'll change that segment to a curveless segment. Using grips, we can perform some of the most frequently used editing commands in AutoCAD. I'll select these two objects. Then I'll hover the cursor onto this particular grip and I'll just click to activate it as a hot grip. Now this grip will act as a base point to perform a number of editing commands in AutoCAD. Out of which the first command appears in the command line that is stretch. If you want you can stress this point to a different location. I'll stretch it through 50 units. I'll type 50. Next I'll again activate this as a hot grip. Just press spacebar to get the next editing command that is move and for the move command this point will act as a base point. Now I'll keep the cursor in the rightward direction and I'll type a distance of 150 units. I'll again activate this as a hot grip then I'll press spacebar to reach on to the rotate command. Now if you want you can rotate this object through a desired angle. I'll rotate it through 90 degrees. Now I'm asked to specify the angle. I'll give 90 degree. It got rotated. I'll undo this rotation and I'll activate this as a hot grip. Press space bars to reach onto the rotate command. Using the base point option, you can change the base point of rotation. Now I'm asked to specify the base point. I'll pick a point here. So even if this grip is a hot grip, you can change the base point using the base point option and I'll give a value of 45 degrees. That is a rotation angle. I'll undo this. I'll select these objects again. Activate this as a hot grip. Next, you have a copy option. I'll just click on the copy option. Now I'm asked to specify the rotation angle. I'll give 90 degree. Now you can see that the object will get rotated and you will get a copy of it in the original location. I'll undo this and I'll select these objects again. Activate this as a hot grip. Next editing command is scale. You will get that by pressing the space bar. Scale factor, I'll specify 1.5 units so I can scale up this object by 50%.
Then we also have the mirror command for which the active grip will act as the first point on the mirror line and I'll pick a point right on top to specify the second point on mirror line and here we have the copy as well as the base point options. Now I'll pick a point right on top to specify the axis of mirror line. This is a block of a bed. When you select this block, you will get a grip at the insertion point. Uh, when you activate that grip, you can cycle through all the editing commands you have seen before. For example, if I want to move it from this location to a different location simply by clicking. This is a dynamic block of a palm tree. If I click on this block, you will get a grip at the insertion point using which you can move as we have done before. And we also have a visibility grip using which you can have different types of trees and views. For example, if I want, I can click on the elevation of the palm tree or plan view of the shrub, elevation of the shrub, different types of plant elevations and uh, plants. All these blocks are integrated in a single block since it's a dynamic block with visibility grip enabled. I have an exclusive video on this in this channel. Please click on the link provided at the description to know more. This is an extruded circle which is a cylinder. When I click on this, I'll get grips here using which you can change the radius as well as the height of the cylinder. For example, when I click on this particular grip, I can change the height of extrusion. And by clicking on this particular grip, I can change the radius thereby I can make it a tapered cylinder. You will also get grips here using which you can change the bottom as well as the top radii and hence you can perform grip editing on a 3D solid object to alter its shape. In a rectangular array we can control the number of rows and columns as well as the distance between rows and columns using grips. Similarly grips can also be used to control the number of items as well as the spacing between these items in a polar as well as in a path array. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to know more about such type of grip editing. So this concludes the tutorial on getting your grips on grips. Hope it was informative. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it and drop your comments at the comment section. Until I catch you with another informative video on CAD, bye bye and take care, thank you so much for your time.